Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and uh, naturally, I have a big old sneezing fit right before I get started. Because <laughs> that's the way it goes sometimes, right? Okay, so today, I'm going to make the rounds of some of these farms real quick. I've not figured out how to work this. <laughs> And I have settled so far for just using the manual switch there. And as long as I know I got stuff that's going to be running through there, just letting the carpet duplicator run. I meant to bring this up last week, uh, but forgot. Uh, I ended up having to change out my guide rail here because I found out that even though I had the double chest here and, and just some iron iron fence iron bars uh, for those last little bits for whatever reason the water would actually push the item a little bit further out and so the carpet was starting to pile up over here and sometimes over here and it wouldn't make it all the way to the hole in the void uh, so for now I just have a series of chests, and uh, and that seems to be good enough for the, for now. Eventually, I do need to get uh, some honey bees going and some honey, because honey blocks would do that just as well, and it would be one less place for stuff to randomly accumulate. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, I've also been spending a little bit of time gathering resources. Of course, now that I don't really need the diamonds, I am naturally uh, getting them in here. Uh, and that's pretty much been it, is just resource gathering. I wanted to get a fair chunk of stone, and that is the second box. So I got a box of stone and almost another full box. I also got, hello, beach duck. Um, oh, oh, for the, for the bee farm. Yeah. Uh, with the honey blocks, you, you can do all sorts of fun stuff. And I'd intended to get that going sooner because like slime blocks, they stick to stuff. You can use them to move and pull and rotate. Um, and, and unlike the slime blocks, they don't take up a full blocks worth of space. So just like you got that narrow ledge there with the chests, which is why this works, you could do the same thing with uh, you could do the same thing with honey blocks, and it would be you know one one less junk drawer on the island. <coughs> just saying. Um, yeah, so I got some cobble, I got some stone, I've got a little bit more andesite. Uh, I don't know if that'll be enough, but I do have some uh, diorite that I can use to make more if I need to. Uh, I seriously need to get in on an ice tray, an industrial ice tray, because I'm going to need a lot of that. Probably probably a little bit sooner than I realize. And I need to get cracking on the Guardian farm now that I got some Prismarine. Uh, I need to double check with Arcadius and Exmetic Frog if... The guardians have to be below a full prismarine block, or if they can be under a slab and it'll work fine. Uh, oh, full block. Okay. Duck on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll figure something out. Uh, I also need to be mindful of... I'm, I'm starting to get to that point where I... Oh, come on. Recalculate. Uh, I need, I need to be a little bit mindful that I'm starting to get close to my cap for hoppers. Um, I'm at 39 of 50. So, I might, uh, I might have to, I might have to do something about that. Oh, and I, I need to spend more time trading so I can get some more obsidian. That's not going to be enough because one of the things that I do want to do is get a better version of this going um, and set up a cobble generator and a... Do I have any basalt out here? I don't think I do. 
No, I haven't started making basalt. Um, and event and somewhere up here, uh, there will be basalt and a basalt generator and start getting them to push into a TNT blast chamber. Uh, so that way I can, I can take these three hoppers and instead of using them on a farm like this, where I also have to worry about my pick running low, uh, I can, I can set up three times the storage. So the, the funnel for the catch tray in the blast chamber will, uh, will funnel them all down into one hopper going into a box with another box with another box. And the only, there's two downsides to that. The first one being I won't be able to use silk touch to get uh, raw ores. So I won't be able to get any more raw redstone ore. Um, the raw diamond ore, which I didn't get the last time. And the, uh, the raw emerald ore. Because I'd like to take those and fortune them to get a little bit more out of it. And likewise, I won't be able to sit here with a fortune pick either, which, which is what I did the last go round, because uh, I needed a lot more redstone dust, and I don't really need that much coal yet, but uh, that's mostly because I've been fortuning it. Uh, <clears throat> I might have to do another, another round with the silk touch, though, just to get that one diamond ore before I put all this together. Uh, I also need to get a coral fan. And uh, so far, no wandering trader has provided one. I'm hoping maybe I can take these coral blocks and set them up in a place to... Set them up in a place to... Um, uh, try to bone meal some coral fans. I think it has to be in deep ocean, or maybe it's got to be in the tropical ocean, in which case I won't be able to get any coral fans that way, because the, the biome switcher doesn't allow for... The, the, this biome switcher was last built before there was a tropical ocean. There was ocean and deep ocean, and that was it. Um, so, I don't know, like... like uh, I'll have to try it in the deep ocean and, and see if that's enough. Uh, if nothing else, that'll get me some seagrass for when I finally get a, a turtle egg. Um, except I'm going to need two turtle eggs. Hmm. All right. I'll figure that out later, too. Oh, that's right. I was going to run around and do a quick check of the farms before we get going. Short-term memory something or other. Oh, that is the other thing. I went back and redid the redstone on the pumpkin side, so it used the same the same system as the melon side. Uh, adding in that delay does seem to provide make uh, make provide uh, offer less opportunity for items to get stuck on the dirt. I haven't sat up here and like watched it, watched it yet. Uh, but, although I haven't spent that much time, oh, I haven't spent that much time since I turned those in either. Um, <clears throat> so we'll let those guys run. I might do, I might go back and do a similar design like this for the sugarcane farm. And so instead of, because that, that was built that way, because that's all I had. I, I didn't have, uh, I didn't have the resources to do, to do better, to do otherwise. I'm sure the iron farm is fine. That's been the auto shut off on that has been working fabulously. Uh, that that is definitely something I'm going to take into uh, the next season. I think I'll do this basic design, but since we'll we'll be in vanilla Minecraft and not Skyblock, we'll have unlimited hoppers. And I'll just start snaking that storage all the way down to the bottom there. And, and maybe then some. Uh, <clears throat> but setting it up so that way once a hopper like this backs up, uh, it automatically turns off turns off the system. Uh, that is nice. Or maybe you can set up two stations like this. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Uh 
Iron is one of those things that you desperately need until you don't. So you build a massive farm like that and it's great for a little bit because you desperately need all that stuff right up until you don't. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind automating this a little bit more too. Uh, set up like an observer at the end here so it's watching that guy and, and so it'll it'll run a little counter so it'll uh, every time the observer triggers it'll uh, pop a button from one dispenser dropper dropper dispenser one of the two into another that's locked and then once that reaches the requisite number uh, the requisite power level it'll trigger a piston to push it forward and back. I've seen some variations on that design and, and just kind of automating it. Although, I don't think there's a way to do that and automate the replanting. So no matter what, you're, you're still spending uh, time doing the replanting, I think. There is one other farm I needed to look into. And I don't remember what it was. <clears throat> hmm. That's going to bother me. Oh. And I did get myself some more dirt. I, I need to spend a little more time doing that. Now that I'm getting gravel from the Piglin Trading Hall... I've been using the gravel to mix with the dirt to make coarse dirt and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I think I showed that off last week. I don't. I'm not 100% sure. It's that short term memory thing. Can't remember what it's called. I also need to leave signposts in this box for how much I need for the, uh, the achievement. You know, I'll, I'll just put some placeholders with a little rename piece of paper eight stacks, five stacks, two stacks, lol stacks. Uh, You, you get you get the idea. Uh, I don't know why I was looking in there. All right, I need I need to do a little bit of cleanup because I think what I want to do today is I want to work a little bit on the decoration near the top. I've been doing a lot of the the resource gathering and building, and I think I want to spend a little more time on this sad patch of grass because. Uh, this has been the top part of the island since mm, the beginning of the season. And, and that's just sad. That's wrong. There's so much wrong with that. That's, yeah. Mm -mm. So, let's let's get a little clean up. And I think what I want to do, it because x -Medic Frog has his entrance down a little bit. I still want, since this is, and this is the original level of the island, I'm going to keep the main body at this level and then maybe uh, somewhere around here. Here. One of those two make a small cliff face. That goes from that level and drops down here and has maybe a, a stairwell going to a dock that reaches out here and make my side of the island a body of water as well. Um, and so my dock will end up running right up to where his is. I don't know if he's going to get rid of that border or not. Um, and maybe maybe just in the in the bottom of the the my side of the lake I'll I'll find some way to uh, differentiate when you're gonna cross that line from mine into his uh, just because that does seem to be useful to know that oh okay no nope, I'm at the end of my island I'm in medics island I'm in my island I'm in medics island <coughs> it's like those uh, theme parks that straddle the state borders. 
Uh, I do want to put a a bigger platform under here. I I'm, I'm not sure why, but I do. Um, but anyway, that so that that cl that cliff will go down into a body of water that runs from his border around maybe just a, a little bit past on this side like maybe maybe a third of the way over here and then the rest of the island will be on this side and I need to while I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do like that that's gonna give me plenty of stuff to work on for quite some time um, I got to figure out what I'm going to do on this side. So Rayest will be happy with the fact that I actually have a border on my side of the, uh, where my island and hers abut. Um, I mean, a, a couple of co cobble walls is not a, a useful border when building. Uh, I do need to make sure that whatever I do, those two chunks are not spawnable so stuff does not spawn on my side of the island and walk over to her island uh, I, I think I want to actually be be nice in that regard maybe uh, so I might I might do a glass floor like maybe a fog effect type floor I just got to figure out what would cause those two chunks to be a fog effect at the border to her place. I don't know, but I've got plenty of island to build before then. And, and like those two yahoos, I do want to take up as much of the available island space as I can. Um, unlike those two yahoos, I, I don't have... Uh, <laughs> I don't have quite as much time to work on that yet. I'm getting there. One step at a time. And there's a part of me that's going to get really mad if stuff despawns before I can get to it. Even if it is just cobble slabs. Like, it's the principle of the thing. You know? Alright, let, let's get this uh, sad early game platform finally <laughs> cleared out of the way. And, uh,. And then we'll go from there. By the by, I don't know if Arcadius saw in our private CoffeeCraft Discord. Um, well, actually, it's the private and on Junior Discord, but y you know what I mean. Uh, on Cord Killers, they were talking about how in preparation for the live action Cowboy Bebop, they're going to make the original anime available for a period of time before they release the live action version. Um, so if you never saw the original, you'll get a chance to go back and enjoy that and try to get a sense for what's about to what's about to happen and why so many people are feeling so so wonderful about it or wonderfully hopeful. It does, it does feel like a, uh, a decent statement of confidence, but you don't, you don't, you don't make a move like that if you think your live action remake is going to be junk. Yeah, and, and between you and, and Brian Brushwood, I, I've got the feeling that I really should eventually take the time to uh, to go and watch that. Because... Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, you are not the only one saying that. J just, just know that there's a lot of people who whose uh, primary thing is uh, all right now. You got this property. <laughs> don't mess it up. <laughs> Please don't mess it up. Not my beloved Cowboy Bebop. Well, 
I do I do wonder if uh, that particular anime has the same level of fandom as some of the others too. Although I can't imagine that it wouldn't. More? Uh, has more of the fandom or more of the uh, the the you best not mess it up. <laughs> like that's a lovely station you have there. You'd be a shame if something were to happen to it because you messed up our beloved show. Didn't I name you something? I can't remember if I named them Thing 1 and Thing 2. I feel like I did, though. Oh, come on. Make the jump. There we go. Uh, picking stuff up. <laughs> I I also uh, oh is that one of the village people looking at the wall? That's probably one of the village people looking at the wall. Because for some reason they do that. They they I I don't know why, but a lot of them prefer to stare at the wall. Like like I don't know. Do they feel like they're being punished? Oh, I've got to light up this place. But I probably shouldn't be running around swinging an axe. That, that's how you accidentally kill a villager. Uh, posters for... Sorry, I, I lost track there for a minute. Oh, <laughs> Man, I don't know. Maybe maybe I should put a, a go. Oh, maybe I should go get some wool and uh, make a little demotivational poster to put behind there. Like, like give him a nice little uh, banner, some banner art back there. Actually, uh, I've been trying to figure out how to identify who has glass and who doesn't. And maybe putting a white banner behind the ones that do. That, uh, that, that's an idea. That's an idea. Oh, of course. That is an idea. And I got to finish off this roof too. I don't, I don't like the way, I don't like the way that's finished. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it, same I am. nap time and then back to the cleanup. Hi! There appears to be a Jubba looking at me over the edge of the bed. That feels a little too close to real life. Let's get this finished. Uh, at least let me get the stuff that's hanging, <laughs> hanging over, uh, not that area down there, and then and, and then I'll figure out where to, where to go from there. I know that I want the dock to be level, and I need my lake under the cliff to be deep enough. Like I'm, we're not we're not talking about like a uh, uh, three block river runs through it. Um, so I need to figure out how ooh, that was almost bad. Uh, I need to figure out how I want how deep I want to make it, and then I need to figure out how I'm gonna scaffold to the right place. I don't know. Maybe I'll just take a bucket of water and. and you know, at least it'll be over where I don't have a building I gotta worry about uh, messing up. 
you know, somewhere like there-ish. Or if I could even figure out where over, over that is, I could take a bucket of water and uh, at least do it in such a way that I'm not, I'm not messing up too much. That's a thought. I'm going to need a lot of dirt. Uh, I need to figure out just how, just how I want to terrain this thing. Because I'll have the one elevation change going off the cliff into the river, which is good. And after looking at Arcadius' island, um, definitely, definitely need... I can see a clear need for elevation changes as you go. I don't know what buildings or style of building I want to put in here either. So that's one that's one of those things that I'm trying to figure figure out. I know I know that in the central area and I should probably go grab my silk touch shovel so I can dig up a little bit of this cuz I want I want a pathway similar to that going off in the cardinal directions. Matter of fact, I want the same basic pattern, so three blocks wide. Uh, I will probably make them bottom slabs, even though even though I know this whole area is Mushroom Island, and I don't have to worry about stuff randomly appearing out of nowhere. Um, I just I can't I can't not. I've at least got it so that way I don't have to worry about anything else. So let me go pick up what uh, what fell off. Oh, I do want to make sure I have an extra block underneath everything too. So that's probably why I need. That's probably why I'm going to need that. Um, so that way, if I ever need to to dig up, reconfigure, re-terrain, I don't have to worry about losing losing blocks somewhere along the way um, because there'll be a, a safety a safety block underneath it if that makes sense I hope that made sense This is not what I need to be doing. I need to go back down to pick up the last little bit of stuff that fell, and then I've got that to uh, to hang on to whatever that's everything there. It's almost gonna be sitting on top of my boxing, isn't it? Anything fall in the water? Nope. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with some of these other slime chunk areas too. <clears throat> I'm tempted to use them for the guardian farm because for the guardian farm to work right, uh, the area is not gonna be hospitable to uh, to slimes anyway. Because I, I was thinking about doing a rail system, so there'll be a rail system running down below here uh, to pick up to to pick up the drops, uh, <clears throat> and that rail system will be picking them up through um, magma blocks. Uh, magma blocks will not spawn slimes will not spawn slimes. And honestly, even if it does, then it'll end up killing them. And I don't know. I'll, I'll have slimes eating up my storage space. Um, but given... <laughs> give, given the way those two have run into problems with their guardian farms creating more drops than can be picked up, I don't... <laughs> I want to be careful of that. I want to be mindful of that. Hmm. Massive. <laughs> Massively over uh, productive. 
Well, I remember too that uh, it's not like they have, unlike the the much like the guardian farm that we built in season one, the smaller area they have to spawn, uh, the faster the rate is going to be. So as long as they don't, as, as long as they've only got the one chunk to spawn in, uh, you, your rates are going to be limited to how quickly you can kill them. Mm -hmm. Which is mm -hmm. near instantaneous as they basically just fall out and go die. Yeah. I mean, unless you want to get, like, you know, Tango Textile creative and route them through a crazy... <laughs> a crazy contraption before ultimately, uh... Putting them out of out of their misery. No, no, no. I, I don't feel any need to have you know drowns or tridents at them or you know. No, other such craziness. Actually, I don't think the drowns would throw tridents at them. No, I was wrecked. Yeah, the yeah, iron the iron farm. farm that he built uh, one of the seasons ago. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you saw, but he's in his latest Termacraft. Or maybe the one before that. Um, he's got... Uh, he's got an update to... Uh, his iron farm. Because apparently... His villagers were... Taking a little bit of fall damage depending on server lag. So he was actually coming back to find... Like... One or two villagers in each pod. Um, suddenly not there. And he had to... That's problematic. Uh, yeah, especially since they're not exactly easy to get in there. <laughs> and and that, that is kind of putting it mildly. <laughs> Tell me he had stronger words? Uh, I'm pretty sure if he wasn't running a family-friendly channel, he would have had stronger words. <laughs> okay. I wish I knew... Okay. So what are you working on? Fishing. Fishing? Yep. <laughs> of course. <laughs> but I don't know why you even bother asking it anymore. <laughs> Island's done. I'm happy. I, I do. What's this done of which you speak? Uh, it's pretty. Nothing spawning on it. Except for some reason there's always someone that can spawn out beyond the tower. Uh, but other than that one person that spawns at nighttime, literally just one. Um, uh, which tower? And is that the biome where you have your one of your mob farms or something? Or is that is that the uh, is that the words? Is that the chunk where you have one of your farms set to a different biome? No, it's got to be a glitch. I have the entire island set to Mushroom. The entire island? Yeah. Hmm. I have no farms running. It is... At this point, the island is just for show. It is just a pretty little place. You seriously not going to build any other farms? Why do I need more farms? Who doesn't need more farms? People like me who did it the hard way and had to get everything, you know. Well, that's why you build farms. Then you don't have to do it the hard way. Yeah, but I'm <laughs> done. I already did it the hard way. <laughs> and then you build the farm to do it the easy way. But I don't need it anymore. Ah, <laughs> uh, what's this not need? Come on. Surely you haven't finished all the challenges yet. No, I'm not going to. <laughs> my you, my challenge was to make a pretty island in the sky. You, I think I've accomplished that. You're not going to finish all the challenges? No. We only have like a month left anyway. Oh, give or take. Depends on... Depends on when they actually get a stable release out. I think the most but I mean, I'll do at this point is to put down like a bunch of... Uh, armor stands 
So oh, do some uh, decorations. Give it. Give it some people. Some stuff. Yep. You're not even going to try to get an end portal? Oh, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> I, I wrote that off like months ago. Aww. I knew that wasn't happening. Come on. Dude, you saw what you have to do to make one of those, right? Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of, couple of, big, uh, couple of big farms. I still got to get a nether fortress together, too. No. <laughs> I don't think a couple of big farms are going to handle the 512 sandstone. <laughs> well, you saw me just get 24 sand right now, and that was after no time. And that's with only one layer. That That's part of why I want to get rid of the uh, get rid of the sugarcane farm that's up there right now. And, uh, <laughs> and then add maybe another layer or two of uh, cacti. I'm just saying, Doug. What? 24, 24 sand is only, what, six? Six sandstone or something like that? Yeah, something like that. But, I mean, nah, I've been slowly chiseling it away. I almost got three stacks of sand. <laughs> that, that, that's a portion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 1% is definitely a portion. That's... No one's going to argue with you on that. Nah, that, that's more than 1%. That's more than 1%. I'm just saying, man. That is that is a rough undertaking. And the other ones, I can agree with you. It wouldn't take too much grinding. It would still take a lot of grinding. But it wouldn't take too much grinding in order to get the nether brick. It wouldn't be too horrible to get the... Um, the prismarine mm -hmm. um, everything else that has to go into the prismarine is what really just boggles my brain uh you need like a ton of different flowers which yeah okay i, I don't get that but we'll go with it um oh. Oh. Oh, and i'm i'm blanking on the last one Taj uh quartz yeah. No. Oops. Yeah, that one's still locked out because I haven't done the nether mining challenge. I, I yeah, keep, those are the four. I, I keep turning. Uh, I I keep turning my uh, nether rack into bricks and stuff. Actually, I could probably do that right now. Uh, sixty-four rack, sixteen soul sand. Um. I need. 64 nether rack. <laughs> A longer term memory than this. <laughs> <laughs> 16 soul ah. sand, 16 gravel. Sixteen soul sand. Oh, I'm glad I did that before uh turning all that gravel into dirt. 16 gravel. Thirty-two quartz. Oh. I don't want to use that much quartz. Thirty-two quartz. I'm gonna need four more coarse dirt. Glowstone. I think I have enough. You sure? I can loan you some. <laughs> Ta-da! Done. I get a gas tier and a magic bow. And that unlocks a Taj Mahal. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. You get a proper piglin... 
piglin station going and you're going to get a lot of quartz you're going to get a ton of quartz you keep feeding that joker gold and then mining quartz while you're at it you'll be doing even better uh, especially if you do a silk touch pick because then you're going to get back a quartz block and breaking a quartz block gives you a higher ch percentage chance of getting another quartz block than if you just did the nether rack to get a quartz block if that makes sense so you could so the more quartz you pick up the more it cycles through and you you end up you, you and then you fortune it all and you could probably end up with that kind of that kind of quartz in a hurry also you, you get a couple of these yahoos down here and enough trading with him for quartz blocks and pillars yeah it's the kind of thing that makes me want to off one of these farmers and, and get a uh get another one of them what, what did i oh infinity and unbreaking three okay ow i don't think i have any other books for that i got power off of the uh enchanting table uh yeah all i got is infinity off of there i could put mending on it at least no i can't because it's infinity duh uh, yeah, no. None of these yahoos give me anything other than infinity. Oh well. Never hurts to have a spare. I, I can figure out something to do with it later. Hmm, that's got power. Oh, yeah, I can combine it with that one. Get uh, power three. That's still not quite power four, but... Infinity and breaking in power three isn't bad. I gotta do something. I don't know why I want to build a crossbow. I don't, I'm almost completely unlikely to use said crossbow, but I may do it anyway. <laughs> mm. Gonna make a sawed-off shotgun. Yeah, I need to make a gas farm. Is what I need to do. Oh. Oh, that's going to be a pain. What in the world do you need a ghast farm for? <laughs> Why wouldn't you need a ghast farm? Oh my goodness. Most of the ghast farms that I know of, though, need uh, wither roses to work. I No, I'm not making a wither rose farm. <laughs> Every one of those requires way too many hoppers for me to want to do that. Also requires a wither. Uh, yeah, well, that too. <laughs> um. Much as I'd like to have a beacon, there is no way I'm summoning a wither on this island. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you don't feel lucky? No. No? Mm -mm. Not even a little bit. I would lose half my island in, like, the attempt, and I probably would lose the star when it fell or you went into the void. Oh, come on now. You're not me. No. No. Mm -mm. Not gonna happen. No? Mm -mm. Not doing it. Uh, have you seen my island? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> I mean... Not risking it. I, I wonder if you could... If you could get enough obsidian from piglin training, I wonder if you could make a, a kill box to summon the wither in and keep it from going anywhere and destroying stuff. Like, maybe you make yourself a little zigzag path to get back in when you inevitably die. Um, but do it in such a way that... Um, that that it can't destroy any of the island. That's not a bad idea. Oh, that's the other thing I forgot. I forgot... 
How many? Uh, you can die. <laughs> that. You, you can die many, many, many times. There is no upper limit on uh, the dying. Sadly. There, there, there is no upper limit on the dying at all. Um, yes, the wither can go through water. Um, is that a page turning or did something splash in the water? I, s <laughs> okay. Uh, I know, I, I know that, uh, Doc M is using, um, I wouldn't say nothing happens when you die. Uh, you lose all your levels. You potentially lose your stuff depending on where you die and how you die. And, and uh, you may you may lose your channel rating if you're not careful what you say to. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm going to need some andesite stairs as well. And some polished andesite. Yeah, I, I know a couple people have lost some very expensive gear. And it's probably a good thing that they weren't live when it happened. <laughs> what trader? You don't have a trader over there anymore. Unless you got a villager. Is that what you're talking about? She does have villagers. Oh, I didn't know that you had villagers. Let's go take a look. It's in a book. Well, I mean, you don't have to take my word for it. Oh, no, you, you don't have one anymore. They They disappear after a period. If, you know, you don't make them disappear sooner. Oh, for some reason I thought you had uh, villagers. This is Rest's Island. Where she has been semi-patiently waiting for her vines to grow from the island down to the void. Didn't you notice? Everything is symmetrical and zoned and blocked off. <laughs> Literally. Uh, yeah. Uh, mine is neater, <laughs> neater this go-round than when we did the... Uh... Oh yeah, she needs to get up here so she can uh, finish... Moving, moving the grass from uh, this side over... Over there. Probably I'll, ought to also get the inside to grass. Unless she's going to turn the outer ring back to dirt. Alright. It's not as much fun to mess with her island when she's not here. <laughs> Alright. So I need that design but up here. Uh. Oh. Okay. Unfair advantage. What's the unfair advantage? Those three are not stairs. Those are slabs. So there's going to be a slab there, a slab there. So it's going to be those three slabs. We're going to go... Two, three, all right. So 
there's my three by three. I can't put one here because of the ladder. And around that three by three is stairs. So that means that's going to have to go. Of course, that's because the path is going up. Am I going to keep the path even or am I going to have it go up? Let, let's, let's duplicate it exactly for now. So that's going to be a path going that way. This is going to be a path going that way. Yes, I know, I have more. Oh, oh no, I need to grab that. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not going to jump. <laughs> I'm not going to jump there to get it, though. Uh, <laughs> that's how sadness happens. And I need to refinish this, and I, I think I'll keep this path at this level all the way out. Uh, I am not fixing. Uh, I am finally getting around to actually doing some of the decorative stuff as opposed to the purely technical stuff. Uh, even though I'd much rather be working on the purely technical stuff, it irks me that Everybody else has been decorating their island, and I still have this sad patch of grass that has remained relatively unchanged. That bothers me. Uh, and since that is in very short supply, I did not want to let that despawn. Alright, so yeah, I got a 3x3. Three three. And the back part where you fall is where... The open space is. So that's the three by three. And then we got the paths going out. I also need to change the uh, spawn location. I don't know if I want to keep home up top here or not. Maybe I should. Yeah, I think I will. I don't know. One step at a time. Um... For some reason, the the skyblock won't let you set the home location on a slab, which is why it's been the same default location since the beginning of the uh, skyblock season. And I gotta figure out how... Yeah, I think... So this will be the base level. I'm gonna drop down over there. Maybe I'll add some hills here and there. Because I definitely need to get the elevation changes in. Woohoo! Terraforming. Mm-hmm. And it... Uh... Warp. It doesn't look like you need that big a change in elevation to make it worthwhile either. Although... No, I, I did mine in like twos. Yeah, so there, there's only a two block difference there. But it makes all the difference. And then on the other side I think it's three into the gully around the around the the portal the nether yeah the nether whatever yeah you Here well there. sort of three i mean you go down to and then back up to but the the way it's spaced out gives it a different grade which helps and then you got that big open space there but i think that's his big open space where yeah yeah, that's like X-Medit Frogs. Big open space. Most of that's going to be a moat, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I know he's building a giant moat around around the edge. That's part of why I want to set mine up the way the way that I do 
That way, I'll have a waterway meeting up with his moat. Ah, okay. And, and it'll have a little more natural seam to it. Um, what I haven't figured out is how to make sure that we can tell where the border is without having a line of half slabs along the border. Um, I haven't quite figured that part out yet. But, yeah, so that's going to be about as far as I can go, because that's, yeah, that's his side. Uh, the dock will come back a little ways, and this watery area where the dock is, I don't, maybe I will make it that deep. I'll have to think about that, because I'm assuming those half slabs at the bottom. I kind of wish he was here to ask, but looking... Looking at that, it looks like um, where those half slabs are is supposed to be the bottom. Ex medic frog, are you in chat? <laughs> he actually has a prior engagement with his son this evening. Ah. I just wanted to give him a hard time too. But yeah, I, I think that level is going to be where his moat ends. So I might actually go deeper. I might have the moats... I might have my waterway come down at an angle from his. So it's a little bit deeper on my side. I think. Or something. I don't know. I, I, I've clearly got a lot left to do before I even get there, so... Uh, although, that is... that... yeah. That's my first priority, is, is to get... at least a wireframe of what's going to happen from the center out in that direction. Um, and then after that is figuring out that direction and then I can figure out that spot and that spot as I go. Matter of fact, that back back portion there is probably going to be the last to, to have anything done to it. Because it's more important how that matches up and that matches up, and that will naturally finish most of that anyway, especially considering I got two chunks that need to be spawn-proof. I wonder what I wonder what I can I wonder what I'm gonna do for spawn proofing. I could I could make a small mountain over there too. And as long as I make sure that uh, the top of each block is a half slab or a button or a stair or a wall or something that's not gonna spawn anything. That's an option. Maybe he'll put a volcano over there. <laughs> that, that's what I can do. I can cover this whole thing in gray carpet like a fine coating of ash. Have an exploded volcano over there and a little Roman villa. And, uh... <laughs> there you go. Call it Pompeii. <laughs> Uh, for a little bit. Th this is going to be... I'm going to have this style pathway for the four cardinal directions. I'm probably going to have some minor pathways, maybe. But I, I don't know... I don't know if they'll tie into that design or be something different. Um, or if I just end up... Uh, making making something a little different happen. I promise you, I've barely touched that beer. My square isn't square. I need to fix that. Do you, do you often have that problem? 
What, that my square isn't square? Uh, I, I often have the problem of <laughs> the the instrument, which, which is supposed to have evenly spaced F-holes. Uh, one of them's a little cattywonker. Uh, because, I don't know, the the... Somebody couldn't be bothered to put the template in the right place. I don't know, or, you know, something. I don't know. <laughs> also, you say mosaic, and all I can think of are web browsers now. And I think that makes me old. Does anybody remember the mosaic web browser? Does anybody remember that mosaic was a web browser? Never mind. Don't answer that. Say, do you really want me to answer that? No. <laughs> I think not. <laughs> I know I want this inner area to be a courtyard of some sort. I just don't know how big. But I'm thinking like maybe a fountain in this one, a fountain in that diagonal, a statue there, and a statue there. Or should I do four statues and then make this central area where you climb up and down a fountain? Because I'm also tempted to uh, to change this <laughs> change this elevator one more time, and, and for the up down, just set it up as a water elevator. So build a fountain and a hole in the ground being where you go up and down. Um, I mean, I've got Aqua Affinity and Respiration on there. Uh, I should be able to survive it. He says, hopefully. <laughs> and I mean, I guess... If I keep le as long as I leave the the home warp up here, I don't need this roof anymore either. I'll probably leave the ladder exactly where it's at. <laughs> now that I get a bed to sleep in, I, I get a little less worry for the phantoms. Oh, I should probably make sure I sleep often enough that I have a little less worry about the phantoms. But I'm trying to change out a lot of this cobble, too. I'm also hoping that while I'm working up here, I'll have that one little... Um... Can you see it from here? Do I have to go over this side? I'm hoping that I can get that area loaded in enough that a mushroom <laughs> will spawn on there. Um, eventually. Hopefully? Maybe? Possibly? Possibly. Yeah. I, I think at the very least, while I am contemplating the depth on that side, I will run this path over to Reyest's Island. Um... That will have something to think about. And just for yes, I'll make sure there's no guardrails on it. I mean, it'll be three blocks wide. If you run off the three block wide walkway, then, uh, you know, I cannot be held <laughs> responsible. <laughs> you asked for it. I'm not going to go so far to say you asked for it, but, uh... <laughs> What's that dot 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 for? sure that I pick up all the uh, fence I'm dropping. 
how much cobble fence have I had up here? I know you fall. A pumpkin spice latte every fall. Okay, not a pumpkin spice latte. A, a line item on Starbucks budget of pumpkin spice lattes every fall. That's how much you fall. Or are you talking about something different? <laughs> Always live dangerously. Thanks, Beach Duck. I don't know if that's helping or not. You just call all the time? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think the, the more I think about it, the more I think I will make that central area a fountain that you go up and down. Uh, I don't know where OGL goes to, but I'm pretty sure that's not a link you want to follow. Um... Arcadius, if you're close to the chat, if you if you could uh, ditch the malformed link, because I'm pretty sure that was meant to be something else. <laughs> I do want the comments. I also want to give you a hard time. I think I have some sort of obligation to do so. Reyes, you're going to need to do that yourself. I can't delete from another moderator. Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> hang on. Okay. Done. I got it. Don't worry about it. Cuckoo. That's why I did that. I was trying to figure out why I got rid of the uh, the bottom slab over there since I'm going to go ahead and put slabs under here anyway, but that's why. Because you can't put a uh, polished granite top slab over a, <laughs> over a cobble bottom slab. Maybe that's what I need to do. Instead of... Because I was thinking... Oh, okay. Uh, I, was, I was thinking that I might do a fog effect over that in whatever I build in that area instead of a mountain so I can have a glass surface that nothing will spawn on and then just do, do the fog down. What if instead of trying to do a proper depth to the watery area over here. I do the same thing. I, I get like, you know, three-ish layers of water, but do a blue glass fog down lower. Then I don't have to worry about texturing the bottom and it looks like the water drops off deep. Although I kind of like texturing um, natural water features, kind of like the the waterfall that I tried to build in season zero. Um, I like the process of building that. I, I just wish I could have gotten the actual waterfall itself to be correct. Oh, I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need a lot more polished andesite. Yeah, I think I need to figure out a way to make this work as a water column. I just don't know... I don't know how I'm going to go about that. Alright, while I'm here, let's, uh... Let's pick up, uh... <laughs> bits of wall. Did I get it? I think I got it. I 
that everything? I guess. Alright, I guess that is. I still don't like this texture on the floor down here. Uh, no, that was not a horse. That's uh, a skeleton horse. Which you can ride. I need to get a couple more saddles. And this is a untamed mule. I, I just keep forgetting that I got, got to come back and tame him. What? The skeleton horses? Too bad you can't put pumpkin heads on them too. At least for at least for Halloween. Oh, I should probably name these guys too. What's a good name for three skeleton horses? Some some other other power trio kind of like like for the four uh, piglin traders. We got Larry, Curly, Moe, and Shemp. What, what's another good um, ah, stupid chickens? Alvin, Simon, Theodore. Ooh, that is an idea. <laughs> I don't often have them, but when I do... <laughs> Into the void. <laughs> Gimli, Legolas, and Aragorn. Uh, ooh, or I could name one Shadowfax, and were there two other named horses in the Lord of the Rings? Or am I looking at the wrong genre, and I should really be going to, uh, I should be going to... And, and, To where I can finish the thought. Um, and a site. <laughs> Kirk, Spock, and Bones. <laughs> <laughs> Medic would approve. Look, I want to tell you you're wrong with that, but you're not wrong with that. I don't need that right now. I don't need that right now. Kirk, Spock, and Bones. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one too. No, but I'm, I'm trying. I now, since you mentioned Gimli, Legos, and Aragorn, and I thought of Shadowfax, I'm trying to think if there's a, a trio of notable notable horses or mounts or you know what I mean I, is that is that a thing to, is there somebody's somebody's book that has them yeah we, we could go with the musketeers uh Okay, so so we got Shadowfax, Bill. I still actually need a regular horse too. Now that I think about it, I'll have to pick these up on my way back. Or should I just name them three different bones? Like this one's tibia, this one's fibia. Nah, it's been overdone. <laughs> uh, spare ribs, uh, T-bone. Is there another good cut? Do horses have spare ribs? 
Do horses have a T-bone? Do I really want to know the uh, butchery of a horse? Of course, of course. Do I call them sausage and mash? <laughs> I thought it was bangers and mash. Yeah, but we're Americans. That doesn't mean we have to be barbarians. I mean, look, we did steal fish and chips, and, and that's proper, right? <laughs> Let's not fall to her death down there. Fatty Lumpkin. Well, I would like to... Oh, uh, how am I going to get an actual, like, horse? I guess I could change one of the chunks to a plains biome, and, uh... Like, one one that I have grass in. And then try to get, uh, try to get some passive mobs to spawn. I mean, that's how I'm going to get a fox, but the only... It's not worth getting the fox until I can get the sweet berries to make a sweet berry farm. I don't know why I'd need a sweet berry farm, because I don't have a butcher to sell them to. And I certainly don't need the food now. Although, who said need had anything to do with it? Um, ooh, no, forget that. Set it up as a bone meal farm. Get a get a get a couple of foxes working on uh, sending bone meal out. Han, Luke, and Leia. Oh, or or do I or do I go a different route for a a ride? Call one the Millennium Falcon. Uh, no, because I want to save those names for when I get some Elytra. I will make sure that there is, I will get a portal to the end. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm going to have to spend a little more <laughs> off camera time than I have been to collect uh, the sandstone and the, the nether brick and quartz. Well, actually, the quartz one could probably... I mean, yeah, the one villager is only going to trade but so much, but uh, I think I could still make that work. All right, that's one path down. I thought that was going to take longer. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not sure that's how you... Sp Is that how you spell it? <laughs> I like that wrist. I like that. Oh. That's right. His walkway is off-center. All right, that'll have to, so this will go down a couple of steps to the walkway there. <laughs> well, one of these days I will get around to to retexturing a uh, a chicken. So the chicken is retextured as a duck. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Disney didn't have French ducks in mind. Of course, that walkway's five wide. All right, I got to figure about how far. No, no, Reyes Island is perfectly centered. 
Come on now. It's rest. Her island is perfectly centered at level <laughs> to the T. I, I, I don't I don't know I don't know how that happened. Do you, B Chuck? I wonder if I could jump and make that waterway. Although I guess technically if I fall on Medic's side of the island, I should be safe. Because you don't take fall damage on somebody else's island. Alright. So I think what I'll do... Do I really want to make a five wide dock when I've got a three wide path everywhere else? Or is this where... Is this where I start uh, getting... my posts and do it like that. So I've still got my three wide path and just periodically I'll put uh, put a couple of posts. And then maybe string something between the posts. Uh, obviously I'm going to knock those out. Ow! I'm not going to be able to pick that up now. It's on his side of the island. <laughs> Dunk on it. And how far back do I want to build this dock? Because that's going to be how far back I build the waterway. That feels a little too narrow. go over down a stair onto the dock which is actually going to be a little bit higher than that all right let's uh trying to randomize. No matter how hard you try, you always end up with uh, some patterns taking root. I'm going to 
find out that I that this was wrong because I haven't counted. Three, four, five. Post. <laughs> nope. 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 Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Okay. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So let's go three, four, post, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, post. One, two, three, four, post. Three, four, post. Post. There we go. I mean, I totally meant to do it that way. Mm -hmm. Everything worked out according to my finely crafted master plan. And if you believe that, I got a bridge in uh, New York to sell you. I still need to go pick up the uh, the stuff that fell down there. How long's it been? How long's it been for what? That stuff that fell down. Uh enough that I'm slightly worried hmm. I don't think it's all despawned no okay it's mostly there <laughs> the other question is how much stuff can I not pick up because it's technically on the other side of the on the uh... oh okay I guess as long as I'm standing on my side of the island I can pick it up <laughs> I mean seems uh uh, it, it, is it is it a that bit of a loophole? <laughs> it, is it that letter of the law? Like, so does that mean I can throw an egg over into his island, and as long as I'm on my side, it'll it'll hatch? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to do that to medic. He'd escalate. Let's get uh, another line of cobble slabs so we can get our other line of posts in. I almost feel like I should replace those instead of birch with something else. Or instead of uh, spruce with something else. But I'm not sure how many different wood tones I want to uh, introduce in this. As it is, I'm tempted to replace those guys with uh, acacia for the gray. Uh, I also thought about putting jungle underneath. So it looks like uh, the... Because the jungle has a, a more wrinkly texture. So the, yeah, the jungle looks like it's uh, been in the water more. 
it'll have that kind of oversaturated. I just don't know if the colors match enough. Although if I go with, uh, if I go with setting up a fog effect under the water instead of a texturized under the water, that might not matter. And so I, I wanna I want to set up a waterway. And then do a fountain at the top. I just got to figure out a waterway that will actually work for up and down. I mean, I guess I could have uh, a single column of falling water. Which would do it. You, you could swim up and down the column of water. Oh, well, that might take a little while. And then you got to worry about, you know, fish and stuff randomly spawning and falling all over your place and you know the area here littered with the the remains of dead salmon and stuff so maybe I won't do that or I'll cut the ladder off just below these slabs and then build the fountain up over the top so you climb up into the fountain or you sink below the fountain. That's an idea. That's an idea worth exploring. All right. Let's get some of these guys and let's start making our way out that away. Never mind. Let's eat a carrot before uh, something bad happens. Actually, I should probably also have those handy. So that way, if I fall, I can always toss an ender pearl <laughs> and maybe survive the maybe survive the drop. Head back down for more, uh, more granite, apparently. <sighs> Seriously? I was that close. That close. If I do that, I won't be able to put uh, I won't be able to put anything there. Uh, oh, let me grab some uh, buckets of water too. Fill that in. But first, hey, get let me sleep, stupid cat. Did you fetch me anything? No, no, you didn't. That's your job, to go fetch me stuff. All right, uh, two buckets of water. I can put those away for now. I can put the spruce trap doors away. 
I can get the bucket of water out of my hand so nothing unfortunate happens. Uh, I don't need the cobble fence. I don't need the ladders. I don't need the cobblestone proper. I need more granite. Forever and ever. More granite. Yeah, I gotta figure something out with this. Is that falling down or is that being held up? Come on. So why does that look like it's, uh... Why does that look like it's flowing down? Problem solved, apparently. Okay. No idea why that was going on, but I'll take it. Okay. Yeah, I need to figure something out with here. Uh, some sort of water fixture, I think. I don't know if I want to do a floating deal, or maybe I'll take some... Uh, maybe I'll take some polished granite uh, walls stack up to and then build the fountain over so it's falling down although do I want to do it out of granite a granite fountain would tie in with the core color of the walkway uh, I don't know what do you think and I'm thinking go here and then start working my way down that way put a couple of stairs or steps or something like that I guess I do need the granite stairs all right I'll get those in a minute let me finish extending this walkway out uh, maybe without making more of a mess nah. I don't think that's possible question is do I want all the grassy areas to be grassy do I want to mix it up with uh, like some coarse dirt and podzol to kind of give it a little more no 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 because I want this I want this to look like a well manicured 
and cared for area. Yes, I want to make sure that this looks like a well manicured and cared for area. So that means that whatever I do, um, it's got to it's got to look neat. So not a lot of of course type stuff. Um, it's going to be too high, isn't it? All right, let me go get my granite stairs, some granite blocks. Granite stairs, granite blocks. Uh... All right, I'll grab some regular andesite. Just in case, I'll get some more polished. I'll get some stairs. And then I'll do the same for the granite. Get some of that. Get some of that. Get some of that. And... I've got a stone cutter around here somewhere. I probably need to just go ahead and make, you know, a bunch of different stone cutters so I don't have to worry too much about, uh, where did I leave my stone cutter? I mean, it's not like I'm hurting for the iron to make that happen. Um, hmm. See, I mean, that's not a bad increase from just at the start uh, of the stream. So, you know, we're at 8.30... We got 30 melon slices and 57 pumpkins. And we picked up a bunch of dirt. Kind of mad I made all of those planks and I didn't I didn't need them. I, pr I probably should have made them as I as I needed them. Oh well. <clears throat> Live and learn or so I'm told. Let's, uh, let's set this over here for now. Let's grab my granite stairs for now. And maybe what I do is I go... Oh, that's right, because that's, uh... Hmm. Because that is a top slab. Okay. Uh, maybe I want to do this a little bit further back. And get the, the turn in just a, a smidge further back. Anything I do to build down this way more is going to um, A, that's off center, which really bothers me. And Oh, although and I don't want to cover up those two pillars. So I, I want to move this back two more. So we'll go one, two. Let's reclaim this before I forget. Oh, uh, probably not just yet. And what I think I want to do is actually go one more. Um, no bother. Get one more there, so that way we can start making our way down at that spot. And we 
make the turn. Like that. And do the same with the andesite around the edge. Oh, that, that has the... Uh, that's still too far into the dock. I gotta go pick up that stuff too. All right, so we're getting closer though, because we're gonna do this S-shaped stairway down. Uh, let me go pick up the stuff before I forget, because that is not stuff I want to lose. Wait, was that it? Did I really only lose that much? Alright, I gotta find out where all the bats are coming from. This is... this is ridiculous. Come on, you got a big honking box around you. There you go. Or are they are they spawning on this platform? Is this because this is, this is because of this dark platform, isn't it? Because it's a dark platform and it's technically underground. Fine. Fine. I know how to fix this. Stupid bats. About ready to log in with my admin account and kill all bats. Ah! This is okay. I'm destroying more than I am the bats. Aha! Behold, light. I didn't think it'd be necessary, but here we are. with charcoal too. Uh, where's the crafting table? There we go.
There we go. <laughs> I should probably I should probably do some more decorating on these posts and figure out how I'm going to string a safety rail between them. All right, I need to move this back. Two more. So the stairs going back one, two. I need it to finish back one, two. So it's going to be one, two. Some days, Minecraft. Some days. Then I went down. And one over. get that later. And then or right. How did I end up too far back? Oh. Because I missed... Uh, okay. <laughs> I missed a step. Aha. Uh -huh. That's going down. That's going over. That's going down. And then that's going there. Okay. We're going up to over one. There we go. And then we're doing the same thing in Andesite. Question mark. get the uh, the stuff that fell to you. so that's gonna go down oh uh, or do I do like that and run that around like that does make that interesting now, doesn't it? Because I could do it like that. Alright, so it's that turn there, and the other one that gets a little funky. Uh... 
Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Although... That should definitely not be there, because that makes that feel wider than it is. It already does. Alright, maybe that turn's not going to work. Or... Do I just make it a, a, a solid andesite wall for the duration with the top up here and the bottom down there? I'll think about that. While I'm thinking about that, I'll go get the stuff that dropped again. Again, again. Before I forget to pick that up. Some of these supplies are a little bit harder to come by. Is that everything? Okay. I should probably also put lights on those. Uh... Oh, wait, no. I got lights on the tree platforms. That... Duh. Uh, I should probably check these platforms to see if they're well lit enough and to keep the bats at bay. <laughs> Alright, that one's done. This one is... done adjacent. Because we're good there. I like the idea of having a winding stairway. I just... I don't like the way the stairway winds. Eh. Although I guess since I've got those pylons there... Alright. Anyway. I need to figure out how much deeper these are going to go. Uh, especially since I need to grow some more oak. And I guess, I guess I'm done with the andesite and the, uh, the andesite and, and the granite. Alright, once more back down. Not for the last time. Let's get the granite put away. Let's get that cobble fence put away. Let's get the and the site put away. And let's get some more oak. Uh, I, mm, I hate farming oak. I hate farming oak with a deep and abiding passion. Now that I have more platform, I wonder if a wandering trader is going to spawn over on my island for a change. I mean, they're not unheard of anymore, but uh, thanks, Arcadius. I appreciate that. I mean, they're not that unheard of anymore, but it's still... It's still not quite, uh, you know. All right. Let's do this by waterlog that there we go and we'll go one two three four <laughs> thanks yeah that might actually be that might be the right depth that might be the right depth. So we went down one, two, three, four. So we're going four for each of these. Uh, 
I'm going to need to pick up more oak too, aren't I? Yeah. Because that's only three more posts. And yeah, so I need... Seven more posts worth of oak. What are the odds that water is still going to be there? No. <laughs> Apparently not. Although, again, I keep forgetting. I don't have to worry about taking fall damage on medic side of the island. And I'm right there. And I'm still going to fall into the water anyway, even though I know that uh, I don't have to worry about that. Because I'm paranoid. Alright, where's my box of oak? six logs left over including the placeholder alright uh why why do I have six dark oak logs alright let me pack some of these back down into blocks because I don't think I need them for the moment so let's get the spruce put away Let's get the dark oak put away. We'll come back for the grass and the dirt. And uh, back to precariously placing logs we go. to figure out what medic's doing on that line there to figure out how I'm going to work the rest I think. Although honestly, no because I can just take where whatever he puts that way and move down a little bit more but I'm really digging the idea of doing a fog effect past that fourth uh, that past that fourth log and then it doesn't matter what, what he does on that side. Oh, I need to start spending some time trading for blue dye. And, and for... Um, for blue dye and... Glass. I'm going to need a lot of emeralds. Oh. oh! Oh, come on. Get in the water stream. That was, that was, that was a little more harrowing than it should have been. Alright, and let's get these four. I guess I should probably talk to Reyes too the next time she's on, so that way uh, we can figure out how our two islands are going to abut or join. If we're going to try to get a, an integrated terrain like this is turning out to be. Although, Medic and I didn't, didn't plan on that, so... Yeah, it's just kind of the way it worked out. Carefully now.
I wonder if this will finally kick my uh, island level off in this sky lord now that I finally got a little more variety of blocks and I'm starting to actually put something down that's uh <laughs> put more stuff down okay it's okay it's okay it's okay I don't know who I'm trying to convince of that, but it's okay. Okay, this should be the last one. Alright, so far so good. And then I think I need... I need blue glass. And a lot of it. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, okay, there's the rest of the water. There's the rest of the water. Okay. Where did all the bats come from? I'm about ready to carpet this place in light. I'm about ready to take that flint and steel and just start setting fires all over the place. That, that's annoying. That is annoying. I wonder if I just breed up enough chickens if that means that uh, the bats won't have room to spawn in the mob cap. Is that what I gotta do? What what what, what do I gotta do? What do the what do the bats count as in U Skyblock for this particular version? And I'm at three ninety nine and a half. A hundred and one half away. Okay. Uh, all right, I can start working on, I can start working on the glass. I need blue dye. How much, uh, eh, I got some lapis. I need to be spending more time on getting all the different colors too. Cause I forgot there there's a thingamajig for colored glass and for colored wool and colored carpet, right? Or is it just the wool and carpet? Uh let's double check. Alright, wool collector requires two wool of every color. Uh alright, glass maker is eight glass of every color. Isn't there a carpet one? All right. Uh, I think I've got enough string from the spiders out of my mob farm. Oh, sorry. J Jabba's got a special treat toy. And he rolled it under my chair. So I'm trying to figure out why all of a sudden... <laughs> Things have gotten really weird. Like, dude, what, what are you trying to do? <laughs> I, I, I desperately need a freestanding Jabba cam. Although, over on this side, I've got my guitar bench. Uh, I have got to get the, the pegboard hung on the wall so I can start getting some of the tools off the bench and on the wall. But one of the other things I want to do is get a camera mounted on the wall so I've got a top down on what I'm working on and originally I was going to mount the other one on a tripod shooting down the table but I'm really thinking that what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on one of my small camera mounts uh, like one of the cell phone camera mounts that I've got that you know it's like a little tripod about yay big and just leave that as a freestanding camera 
and just adding that camera to the coffee craft scenes. So when Java is being Java, I can just transition to that freestanding camera. Uh, okay, sorry. All right, so yeah, I, I need to I need to go on a die hunt. I need I need to figure out where. I mean, there's what sixteen dies. I think we probably got some of that right now. Like, I know this isn't the order that Reyes prefers, but. We got the white, we got the light gray. Uh, let's get this out of the way real quick. We got the black. So to get... Isn't that to make dark gray? No. Or is it the other way around? That I need to make take some white... And black. And that gets me gray. Okay. So I'm going to have to make up at least uh, three of each color. Um... Actually, I got plenty of coal. Well, not plenty, but plenty enough. I'm going to go ahead and make a little more... So that gives me white, light gray, gray, black. I need brown dye. Let me get that out of the way real quick. Brown dye is going to be easy to come by because that is made from the cocoa beans. And I've got the little farm over here for putting that together. Matter of fact, let's just go ahead and do a quick harvest for no good reason. Because I've got plenty stacked up. Nope, 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 nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And we got some brown dye. Let's figure out what I'm missing. That's going to be the fun part. Probably going to need just a little bit more of this for blue. Because I think I mixed the blue with a couple to get uh, some of the colors. Oh. Huh. So we've got the white, light gray, gray, black, brown, red. I've got more red dye than I know what to do with, and way more coming out of the poppies from the iron farm, so that'll never be a problem. Uh, orange is going to be yellow and red. And I've only got the one dandelion. Uh, so I'm going to have to come up with, all right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I'll do another row of eight down there. So I'm going to have to come up with some more yellow dye, and as far as I know, the sunflowers and dandelions are the only ones to do it. If I can get a sunflower, then I've got all the yellow I need, and between the poppies out of the iron farm, or the beetroots for that matter, um... I'll have all the orange I need by virtue of having all the yellow from the sunflowers and the red from the poppies. Uh, lime is going to be... Oh, lime is going to be no problem too. Um, because the lime is going to come out of the white and the green and with the bone meal and everything else, that's not an issue. 
Uh, green is not a problem because I got yield cactus farm. Uh, matter of fact, I got... Why did I make that much green dye? Oh, that's right. Because I was tempted to, to take a bunch of glass and glass off all these slime chunks up to Y40. I don't know if I'm going to still do that or not. All right, so I got light green, green. Cyan is going to be a mixture of the blue and green. All right, and then I need a little more of that to make some light blue. And then blue. Purple is going to be the blue and red. Maybe I don't need a big uh, flower farm. Good. That was my big concern was trying to figure out what colors what colors I need. But I think with just the four two high plants, a villager and the cactus farm, I, I can. Uh, I think I'm actually. Uh, far better squared away than I thought I was. Um, yeah, I need more yellow. Do flowers grow in a mushroom biome? I'll grab some bone meal and test that. Matter of fact, I need to make more white dye for some of this anyway. Uh, because I got purple. Magenta is going to be purple. And pink. Yeah, let, let me grab yeah, let me grab uh some more bone meal so I can get more white dye. Cause I think the I think the big holdup is gonna be I need a better source of yellow dye. Hmm. And that gets me some of the dirt. Oh, yeah, look at these guys. They're working great. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Alright. I'm gonna need some pink dye. And the pink dye and the purple dye will let me make the magenta. Let me go ahead and make some more purple though. Uh wait. I duh, I need red. Get that, we got that. That gets us more purple. We can get some pink and some magenta. Because I'm going to see if I can't grow some more yellow flowers. Alright, so we got purple, magenta, pink. Yeah, except I need to make, uh, I need to make more pink dye. Um, not a problem. That gives me that gives me at least four of each, which is what I'll need for each of the two challenges. Uh, yeah, I just need to get some yellow dye because with the yellow dye, I can make the orange. Let's uh, you know, since I got the yellow dye from uh, the flower map up here. I just don't remember where. He was on one of these. Oh, 
Watch. The, the block that grows the yellow flowers is right under that paving stone. Or do you not get flowers on a... Uh, on a mushroom biome? That would be my luck. Oh, I guess I should probably put some tor some more torches up here too. Those two torches are probably not going to cut it. Uh, I should probably get some more light up here too, lest I end up with more unfortunateness. Um, are you my flowers? No. I mean, I guess I can go over to where the mob farm is, since that's gonna that's gonna be some different biome anyway, and uh, change that over to. Do I have flower forest? I don't think I have flower forest yet. Um, yeah, I can't get flower forest until I get one of the other ones. But what I can do is grab grass and lights uh, actually I get those guys and I just wanted something that would hold them off off the ground Um, I need, I need to set up a, I need to set up a, an actual flower farm somewhere. I might, I might just do it up here. I mean, all I really got to do is make sure that, um, it can't, uh, spawn stuff. Matter of fact, let's turn that on while I'm here. Although I think I'm too close for anything to spawn. Uh, let's go over here and let's go slash is. Let's go change biome, current radius, chunk. <laughs> before unfortunateness happens. We can't do a flower forest, but um, extreme hills, plains. Yeah, I think either, I think the plains might give us our best chance for, uh, for that. Chain. Yeah, they have to be on something. Uh, but we can go one, two, three, all right? I think I overprepared the lighting. 
Yeah, that should be more than enough to keep stuff from spawning up here. Uh, that gives me something to climb on the way up. And let's see. Ooh. Oh, that gives us a uh, light blue and some gray. Uh, actually, I should probably work on getting a complete flower map of this this spot. All right. Although I wonder if uh, does cha if changing the biome changes up the flower map. That's going to be interesting. I also need to double check if... Not that you've seen. Okay. I don't know if that's good or bad, but... That's something. Come on. You seriously telling me that I picked, like... The one spot that doesn't have... A, oh, there we go. Thank you. But actually, it looks like this might be a uh, really good spot for a flower farm. Because it gets me the yellow which, that I'm missing. It gets me the cornflower, which will give me blue. Uh, which I would much rather be using cornflowers than lapis. Uh... Although I can get Lapis out of the Cobble Generator and out of uh, trading with the, the one Cleric. So it's not like it's the end of the world if I can't, if I can't get more blue flowers. But um, yeah, I need to start, I need to start thinking about uh, an actual flower farm design then. Uh, something that makes sure that I've got it lit up enough that nothing spawns up here while I'm using this as a mob farm. All right. I know it's not the full flower map, but honestly, before it's quarter after nine and before I call it a night, I want to go ahead and get all the colors together because that should get me... Um, that should allow me to get the, at least the carpet one, because I think I got enough uh, string to make enough wool to get the carpet challenge. And I might have enough, I might have enough glass right now to finish that challenge. Oh, come on. Maybe I need to put a uh, fence around here so I don't fall off. All right, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to math out a couple of different flower farm designs because this this should give me exactly what I want. Uh, I know I know the basic idea is to have a redstone clock cycle, so that way it triggers a dispenser with some bone meal. Or more than one dispensers with bone meal, depending. Um, and then uh, a piston series on that side pushes the grass one way. A piston series on that side pushes the grass the other way, which breaks whatever grew. And then, like, every fourth or fifth shake, a uh, water stream opens up that pushes everything down to a collection area. Um that that's generally the the idea. I don't know why I even bothered having that running. Um, nothing nothing productive came of that. That oh. oh. Like, did the game 
hear me complaining about the bats and made more bats appear. Because it feels like the game heard me complaining about the bats and made more bats appear. I guess I don't need the water right now either. Yeah. Alright. Uh, let me get rid of... Oh. Uh, oh. There we go. That's where that goes. I don't need the chain anymore. Well, I guess instead of a ladder, I could run a chain. And then if I run a chain up the center, I don't... Well, no. I don't know. I'll keep thinking about that. Because I, I, I am liking more and more the idea of some, some sort of... Fountain. Um, I don't need the wheat seeds. I so don't need the wheat seeds. I, I got, I got plenty. I got plenty. All right, let's. Uh, you know what? No, I'll leave one as a placeholder. So that's gonna be the blue. That's gonna go with the light gray. We know where the poppies go. Um, I'll leave one. That should give me more than enough. And that's going to go... Oh. That's also going to be light gray. Okay. So... Yellow, more red. That's going to be light gray. That's going to be light gray. Oh, there is one more flower that does uh, light gray, but I don't... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to see any, so I'm not too worried about that. Alright, the cornflower is going to give you blue. Alright, let me grab... One of each for the moment. Oh, that's right. I need to make some uh I need to make some orange. Alright, let's go see if we got enough uh, enough glass to make this work, right? I don't think so. Alright, and I actually don't need the blue. Because that's what this already is. Uh, so I can put the blue dye away. That's two of my colors. I need more glass. got five all right all right this should be an easy problem to solve real quick how are you doing, how are you doing? Hi. 
Hi, guys. Almost wish you could turn emeralds into green dye. I, I'm not entirely convinced that that would be a, a useful use of emeralds, but. Dude, get out of the way. I want to talk to the guy in the back. Weaponsmith. Yeah. Don't make me turn this farm on. There we go. Alright, I already talked to all three of you guys. Is that going to be enough to get me enough glass? We're almost at work time anyway, so uh, let's just wait a second. Start shouting, look at this vision. <laughs> All right, you're ready. You're ready. Nope, oh, sounds like you're ready now. Okay. And I should, yeah, I should be able to get another round of trading out of each of you guys, right? Come on, man. Look at your station. There you go. That's how you work. Alright. I think you guys are done, so go make me some more iron. <laughs> Top it off, boys. Top it off. What's going to be a good banner design to put behind the guys that, uh, the guys that sell glass? That's, uh, all right, you sell glass, right? Yep. And you do not, and you do, and you do, you also do. So I got like what the one guy? No, two guys that don't. Because I think that's one of the few things you do that's actually useful. You jerk. All right, let's block that up. Get the emeralds in storage. I was gonna need more of this anyway. Come on. There. Doesn't matter. Alright, gives me that. And that. And that. And that. And that. And that, which means I should be able to go. Challenges and glass maker. Oh, that also gets me the flower forest. Ta-da! That gave me two records. Uh, which records did I get? I'm sure they're ones that I'm missing, so there is at least that. Uh, yeah, because I got... How many are there? I got... Chirp and Maul and Far and Ward and 11, which is broken. Uh, oh, and I got a lilac. Isn't that one of the, isn't that one of the two high grasses? Because honestly, if, if I can just get the four of those, yeah, that is. All right. If I can just get the four of those, I can make a flower farm that will uh, that will handle all all my needs from there. All right, uh, lilac makes magenta. Ooh, and a sunflower. Oh, oh, sweet. That's that's two of the ones that I needed. All right, you know what? Let's um, let's grab a sign and a barrel. To do. Because 
honestly, as much as I'd like to do the other style flower farm up there, uh, that's going to be a lot easier to manage. And, and of all the colors, the only one I can't readily get a lot of is yellow. Although now that I got that, if I can just get the the little little bone meal flower farm and just throw bone meal at my problems, that that solves that solves just about all of them. Because I, I can get more than enough bone meal from a variety of ways to get the white dye. I can get coal out of out of there or charcoal out of a you know, the trees and whatnot when, so between the bone meal and the black, that gets me the white, light gray, gray, and black. Uh, oh, that's right. I was going to do something else while, uh, maybe I remember how much, uh, glass that, uh, how much glass. Crikey. How much wool do I need to make this work? Let me start with a stack. Because um, I realize that is like 9.30. And I'm probably going to want to actually try that sleep thing. I heard it's useful. Wait, no. The wool one is two of each. Two. want to make sure I have a placeholder for all of these as well. I might spend some time gathering resources to top off and get, for no good reason, I might work to get a full stack of each of these dies just to, just to, all right, let's start with, oh wait, it's already white, I <laughs> what was I saying about sleep? Alright, so we got the light gray, and the gray, and the black, the brown, and the red, and the orange, and the yellow, lime, and green. I also come to the question, do I want to keep the dyes and the wools and the glass and the terracotta separate, or do I want to pull a rest and, uh, and organize by color? Right. And two diamonds, a sheep, emerald, flowers, and flower forest, right? Yep. There we go. Uh... Oh, that didn't give me everything, everything. Okay, that's fine. That only cost me a half stack of wool. Uh, did it already go up to double or no? Oh, no, I that gave me the rose bush and the peony, which were the last two that I needed for the automated flower farms, which means I don't need to worry about that flower farm at all. I can get every color I'm missing out of there. All right. Um, is the is the wool one already? Oh yeah, that's already up to six of each. Never mind. I'll wait until that one resets. <laughs> All right. Let's get our emeralds and diamonds. I'll put the bone meal there for now. And in my protein box, I'll put the sheep. So we got the pig and the sheep and the cow. And I can get a pig farm going too. Uh, I might want to get a chicken farm going as well. Uh, I need to figure out what other proteins I need to make a farm for. Uh, but that's not bad. All right. That, that gives us, what, three challenges completed today? 
because we did the wool collector, the glass maker, and the nether mining. Right? No, not nether mining. Nether fortune? No, we did nether mining. Okay. I could probably turn another one of those in right now, which will get me a blaze rod, which is one of the things that I, I'm desperately short of. But man, that, that's, that's not how I want to get blaze rods. I need to get a um, proper mob farm going, so I might start looking at doing something like that, but in the nether... Oh, mob heights. That's what I need to do. Because I think that roof is too low for... That roof is definitely too low for nether skeletons to spawn. I just... I'm not sure if it's too low for blaze to spawn. And what the odds are of blaze spawning on there in the first place. Uh, or if the water ends up killing them before... Uh, before it pushes them off the ledge. Although, if the water killed them before it pushed them off the ledge, they should drop the blaze rods. Or do they only drop them when uh, it's a player kill? I think they only drop them when it's a player kill. Uh, Alright, so I need two more grass blocks for that. I mean, I don't really, but I do. Um, Alright, so I can't get Cookie Lover until I get top... No, I can't get Top Chef until I get Cookie Lover, and this means I need 128 cookies and a milk bucket? That's why I was collecting cookies. I couldn't remember why. 128 cookies. And a bucket of milk. 128 cookies and a bucket of milk. Um, I might be able to grab this one real quick. Where's my cow? Maybe he'll turn into a uh, mushroom. All right, I need a bucket. And 128 cookies is two stacks. I need two stacks of cookies. I think I can get that from the farmers without too much effort. Uh, Alright, so there's our milk. And I just need two stacks of cookies. Do I not already have a bunch of cookies? I thought I had a bunch of cookies already. <laughs> Never mind. I have two stacks of cookies. So I didn't need to break down all those emeralds. Um, let's put those back. And let's go ahead and turn in Cookie Lover. Ooh. Oh good, they gave me the bucket back. <laughs> oh, okay. So today's the day for turning in challenges, apparently. Uh, so that's four challenges turned in today. I still, I, I, I need to get my island up to level 500. Um, all right, so now their mining's done. Homeowner's done. Uh, monster farm, wheat farmer. What other challenges am I missing? I got all those guys done except for Nether Fortress. That's going to require a lot. I think I've already got... Yeah, I definitely have the soul sand already. I'm just going to need a lot more bricks. Although I put a whole bunch of what I had already in there. Alright, iron farm. Maestro. That's going to be a tough one because I'm going to need more music discs. Um... All right, we'll see if I we'll see if I collect those from some of the other ones, because I think a couple of these challenges that uh, all right, I definitely need to do the wool collector again. Uh, 
I might need to do the fisherman. No, no, I'm not doing the fisherman again. Uh, I need to do the expert farmer again, though, so I can get my second cow and get a cow farm going. Um, there's no point to that one. I got a sawmill done. Uh, Glassmaker might be another one to do again, if only because that seems to be a good source for getting discs. 30% chance on one or two discs. I gotta see if that's like you get one and a 30% chance for a second one, or how that works. Slim chance at a parrot. Arr. I kind of wish I had a second parrot. Um, iron ore and some clay... Uh, ooh. I got to get the deep sea fishing now. Uh, cause that's going to get me the turtle, but I'm going to, I got to get, the, I got to get the guardian farm going first. Cause that's going to, I'm going to need prismarine crystals, prismarine shards, a lot of dried kelp. I need to get a kelp farm going. Do, do I already have kelp? Yes, I got some kelp. Um, let's get this put away before something unfortunate happens to them. Yay! A block! Else do I, is there something else that I can like dash off real quick? Because I, I didn't even realize I had cookie lever in the bank right then. Uh, oh. Oh. That one's going to hurt. Uh, I. Do I? I might already have this. 64 redstone. Nope. Uh, oh. <laughs> Never mind. I might have this. Hang on. Let's uh, let's see if I got this. All right, sixty-four redstone. Um, thirty-two torches. Two torches. Five repeaters and three comparators. Three comparators. Five repeaters. That hurts. That hurts my soul. Uh, 64 redstone, 32 torches, five repeaters, three comparators, two Pistons, two sticky pistons. Two pistons, and I need two of these guys for the sticky pistons. Two pistons, two sticky pistons. A lever, a stone button. I, I know I've got levers somewhere else, but, uh... A lever. A stone pressure plate. Uh, a lever. Oh, a stone button. A hopper. A stone button. Hopper. A lever, stone button, stone pressure plate, hopper, a dispenser, a dropper, and a daylight detector. A dispenser, a dropper, and a daylight detector. All right, let me just go ahead and make a couple of new ones there. Uh, hello, Birkenbow. Gonna need some gobble gobble. Ooh, I'm 
going to need three glass. Uh, quartz, I don't remember how much. And I can't remember if it's... Uh, now it's probably going to be end up being stone instead of uh, cobble, right? No? No. What is it for the daylight sensor? Is it smooth stone? Daylight. Oh, it's wooden slabs. Because of course it is. Um, I I don't. I don't know. Why am I trying to make sense? I need three of those, and I need three wooden slabs, which I should have plenty of from the earlier misadventure. So we got our daylight sensor, a dispenser, a dropper, and I can put... Le Cabo away. Alright, let's uh, turn in the Redstone Technician. There we go. Ooh, beautiful. This means that I no longer need to worry about... Um... Alright, uh, I need... I need a pumpkin. I need a pumpkin and shears. I don't need to do this right now, but this does mean that I can... I can now make... Um, Do I want to put the snow in there? Yeah, I guess I do want to put the snow in there. I can now make a snow golem. And, and that snow golem will now mean that I never have to worry about finding snow again. Because I can make a little snow farm out of a snow golem. Um, I'm trying to remember why I wanted to make a snow farm, though. Beyond to make a snow farm. Oh. Oh, I can do this. I got 60 emeralds. I, here I am thinking that I'm so far behind on challenges, and, and I'm going, oh, oh, I got that. I got that. All right. Uh, Emerald Collector. Bam. What, uh, what else have I been neglecting? All right. Let's, uh, we got our... Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I could do that again, but I don't know what good that does me. Yeah, XP is nice, but not that nice. Uh... Ooh, Animal Farm. That's gonna be... That's gonna be a tough one. Okay. No. Oh. <laughs> and a sheep in all the colors. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna need to get the sheepies in place. I got one egg already, alright? Where's my protein box? Yeah, so I just need another... I just need a second sheep. Uh, which challenge gave me the sheep egg? Was it the... It was the wool collector, wasn't it? Yeah, so I just need to do the wool collector again. I'll let that reset, get my second sheep, and then I can work on... Um, animal farm. Top shaft, animal collector. There it is. The fence. I don't know why. Uh, ooh, and that gets me a horse. And then what, with the horse and the donkey, I can make a mule? And then I can get another one for another horse. All right. 
right. Um, oh, no. I can get my other horse from Horse and Ground. Uh, ooh. Of course, of course. Yeah, I might actually have Horse and Ground. Eight leads, 32 hay blocks. Uh, that's only six leads. But one slime. Three, four, right? All right, eight leads, 32 hay blocks. I mean, I was saving the hay blocks to make uh, target blocks, but... Alright, 32 hay blocks. I mean, here, here I've been collecting resources going, man, I need, to, I need to... I need to do something. I'm falling behind on challenges. Alright, what else is on that? Uh... uh Horsing around. 32 hay blocks, 8 leads, a carrot on a stick, and shears. Alright, let me get two iron nuggets. So I got some shears. And let me get one of those guys. And I think I got an extra fishing rod around here somewhere, right? Oh no, I only got the really nice ones. I'm not giving up my nice one. Uh, three. All right, yeah, I need to. I need to do something about my string situation. Uh, that's getting lower than I feel comfortable with. All right, and I think that's everything for horsing around. There we go. There we go. Uh, even though it's wrong, I'm going to put the horse in the protein box for now. Uh, oh, I don't have a box for horse armor. That seems unfortunate. Sure. There we go. All right, while we wind down in these final hours, let's uh let's see what else I can quickly complete. Hmm. Those aren't unlocked, so I haven't done Top Chef. Uh Great Pyramid is gonna take a little while. I still haven't collected enough sandstone. Taj Mahal is gonna take a little while because I haven't collected enough quartz yet, but I might I might start working on this one and building up the quartz stockpile by doing a lot of trading with that guy down at the end there. Uh, and with the pigs over in the nether. Um, top chef. Oh. Maybe not. Alright, I'm not going to be able to do that one right away. Because I definitely don't have everything on here. I got the baked potato. I got the bread. I can probably make a cake quickly. I can get the cooked chicken. The cooked cod. The cooked salmon. But I'm going to need tropical fish? Question mark? No, I've actually got a tropical fish. All right. Uh, so I could do the tropical fish. I don't have any pork chops, cooked or otherwise. And I didn't make the guy who could trade me one of those. And ducks? Yeah, ducks should be in Top Chef, but, uh... <laughs> I don't, I don't think it's gonna help on this one. Uh... I got the golden apple, I got the golden carrot. I can make a mushroom stew, a pumpkin pie... Uh, I got the cow over there, and as soon as I make his mate, I can start working on the cooked beef. I got the melon and the carrot, so I'm almost there for Top Chef. So those two are going to take a while. This one, I'm almost there. That's done. That's done. D 
deep sea is going to take a while because I'm going to have to start working on a kelp farm and a guardian farm. And I might be able to get everything else I need out of that. Horsing around is done. Slime farmer's been done a bajillion times. Um, Nether fortress is going to take a little while. Animal farm's going to take a little while. I've almost done all the challenges on here. I can't do that one until I get deep sea fishing. I can't get that one until I get nether fortress, maestro, and wither hunter. Wait. Wither hunter is one of the challenges? Oh, that's probably going to be after nether fortress. Um... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out some way to, to build a safe space to play with the wither. That's not going to be fun. That's not going to be fun at all. Alright, since I'm going to keep playing up there where the, the phantoms spawn, let me take a nappity nap. Actually, while I'm uploading the video, I might be spending a lot of time running back and forth between those guys for emeralds and these guys for supplies. Uh, so I can maybe wrap up a couple more things. Yeah, because that, that quartz is going to take a little bit, but not that long. Not that long at all. Alright. Alright, nice. Okay. Okay. Let me go ahead and head on over to the credits and say thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Um, my Originally, I, I told you I was going to be late because of a doctor's appointment today. That doctor's appointment got canceled. So naturally, I tried to work on one more instrument, which is why I still ended up being late. When we get rescheduled, I don't know. Uh, so there is a chance anywhere between Friday of this week and Friday and next week. One of the live streams is going to be a little late, uh, more so than normal. Uh, so I apologize in advance. And if you see that, just hang tight or check my Twitter. Uh, because if I'm not going to stream, I will post it on Twitter. Uh, this Friday... I would really like to wrap up the Legend of Zelda stuff. Uh, it looks like I'm close enough that I could probably do that in a single stream, two at the most. But honestly, it depends on whether or not I can get the... It, I've got the time to do the appropriate prep before the actual live stream. And my life, my schedule's been all sorts out of whack here lately. It's been really hard to stick to a schedule. I'm working on that. So I make no promises as to what I will stream this Friday, just that I will stream this Friday at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Hopefully I'll be able to finish up The Legend of Zelda. That is, that is my hope and plan. We'll see, we'll see how that works out. All right, let me hit the raid and see who's available. Oh. I hate it when I have two people that I really want to raid that are both available like Grimly and Beast Lord. I am actually going to go ahead and send you to Beast Lord, as I usually do, because uh, he is a good guy. But honestly, if you haven't subscribed to both of them, do so. Go subscribe to Grimly, G-R-I-M-L-I, over on Twitch, and Beast Lord J. Uh, they're both great people. Right now, Grimly is playing Diablo 2 Resurrected, which... <laughs> It brings back the nostalgia, and it looks like they did a pretty good job bringing it back, too. And Beast Lord is playing Monster Hunter World. So let's go. Uh, I'm going to hit the title card. I'll hit Raid. Stick around for the Raid. Have fun, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>